Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, so it's market outlook time. I want to take a look at this week. Footy's batch three is in packs. I almost said batch two. I'm so used to saying it, but batch three is here, as we have known, and prices are all over the place because these cards are in packs. They're getting supplied like crazy. People have had so many packs. They've opened over the weekend. We had crazy preview packs on Saturday, and yesterday and Sunday was kind of a quiet day, but what does this week hold with a lot of people again thinking that the league one is going to be the focus of the SBC player and maybe the objective content this week based off of what we have seen already with Gelson Martins says Fabregas of course you've had Diada SBC that has dropped today is a huge day in deciding what those weekend league plus requirements might be on Tuesday because Mondays are usually the league specific player pick pack and league one is the only one we have not received yet so we are all expecting to see a league one player pick uh again specific to the league just like we've seen bundesliga like we've seen the premier league we've seen all of these league specific player picks we had syria last week and again what this does is it takes a player pick from team of the season path to glory and summer stars and of course you take a look at summer stars for league one you've got the likes of neymar that is in team one. Again, it's all about the big name players. The fact that you could get a 99 Neymar, a team of the season Mbappe as some of the top two players packable from this SBC. You take a look through the team one of Summer Stars, nothing there. Team two of Path to Glory. I'm taking a look for League One cards. You've got Paredes as a PSG player. I think that might be the only League One card. Do we have a PSG player in team one? We do. Verratti. So Verratti, Paredes, Neymar would be the top three, and of course, um, and Mbappe as well, Gullivan, Yaziki that are in Path to Glory, and then it just comes down to the team of the season cards for what could be in this footy Serie A player pick today. I think they're going to get away with it being a little bit more expensive again, because you've got two versions of Neymar actually, with the Tots one being available as well, and just a lot of these actual League One cards have started to go up in price. People are already investing in these, um, but I, I just want to kind of show you guys the potentials for what could be coming out of that League One specific player pick today. Of course, you're hoping for that Neymar. You're hoping for that Mbappe. And again, that's the one thing I wanted to talk about today is that League One presence this week. Kind of, if you think about what cards could be going up, some stuff's already started to go, obviously, because League One's the last league. We have not gotten a weekend league plus requirement yet. That's what we're expecting on Tuesday, unless EA do something completely different, but it's been a lot of League One focused content. We've had a striker, we've had a midfielder, and we have had a um, right mid, also a left back from objective. So I think what a lot of people are doing right now, and I think this is a pretty smart investment, but I also want to just be totally 100% with you guys and say, hey, this is being very invested in right now. And, you know, who knows what the content has for EA Sports or what they have in store for later on this week. This Paredes card, 93,000 coins. He was just 97K. He was 80K earlier on Sunday. A lot of these League One cards have actually started to go up in price. Verratti, Paredes, Team of the Season Marquinhos, probably my top three who I would have invested in this week if I was really like trying to make some coins off of this. A lot of these guys were actually their cheapest on Saturday because a lot of people went into yesterday on Sunday thinking, hey, this is going to be the investment day. And as you can tell, right, around the content drop with preview packs, Paredes and Verratti both dropped a bit. Verratti was 230,000 coins right now, 260. 261 right now for this Verratti. I don't think you would see a crazy huge rise today, even if a League One player pick is released, because so many people are investing early and you're seeing these price rises happen ahead of time as there's so much expectation for that content to come out. Again, take a look at Paredes yesterday on Sunday. He was up to 90K, dropped down to 78 around the content, and is now back up to 97,000 coins really sitting on the market, 97K. So a really nice rise for the Paredes item there. And then some of your other League One cards, like Marquinhos, says he's 47,000 coins. This guy was definitely a buy at 40K. I'm not saying these guys can't be a buy later on this week. I mean, of course, um, we don't know that the weekly requirements will be specifically tailored toward, toward the League One, although it seems like it should be. If this Marquinhos goes back to 40K, I might have to, to snag, right? So just kind of watch out for these League One cards. They're definitely being invested in right now, which I think there's 100% a chance of an overinvestment. So I'd be very, very careful. Um, on a guy like the Neymar, 
Uh, yes, of course, a lot of people are probably going to want to have this in their, their teams, but um, a lot of these top rated cards are actually finally seeing a little bit of a drop off. 259, that's actually like a 100K undercut on that Neymar right there. But uh, again, Ronaldo is down to basically where he was when the panic selling was happening on Friday before the content. 2.4, two threes for Ronaldo. 237 right now. He was 2.3 lows. He's actually finally back down to that price where he was. Um, so some of your 99s have dropped off a fair amount. Messi actually hasn't dropped off that much. He's still in the 1-2 middle range, 1-2-5, as you can see right there. Um, so I, I don't know what's going to happen. I think the real thing with this Summer Stars Messi is, yes, he might go cheaper a little bit over the next week and a half, of course, as he's continually in packs. But I think it would take a 99-rated end of an era Messi to make this card really move. So even with a Neymar card, it's going to take a lot of preview packs and a lot of supply to make those cards go down a lot just because they're so hyped, so in demand at this stage of the game even to get those 99 rated items. So again, what we saw with these cards though was kind of, even with those League One cards, it happened with some of the most meta other types of Path to Glory and Summer Stars yesterday as well. Militao on Sunday, content drop 328, just a slight drop from where he was around 350. Right now, 365. So it looks like a lot of people have bought some cards for their end game teams tonight on Sunday, which makes sense because that would be a very popular time for people to say, hey, go out and buy your team on a Sunday night. That's where a lot of the selling is. But when it actually comes down to it, it looks like the cheapest prices were on Saturday with the combination of some of that sell off happening and the insane amount of supply. This Gomez went from 100,000 coins back to 120. He did go back down to 101 today, and he's 112 right now. So just taking a look at a random card, but a lot of stuff has rebounded back up from where it was at its absolute low point. I don't see, to be completely honest, I don't see a ton of crazy fluctuations in store for us this week. I really don't. I think it's going to come down to the content that EA bring out, and if they drop a ton of preview packs, um, like I don't think they'll do lightning rounds, of course, but if they drop you know, the 88 plus star pack or 100K packs and they give you like three, four or five of them to open. That's the kind of pack that can make supply come onto this market so very fast from a preview pack perspective. We've seen it all the time now since preview packs have been released. That's just something we see all the time is so when EA drops packs like that, there's just a ton of supply that comes out because of course, even with rare golds right now, uh, let me check on rare golds actually. They are, they're down, they're down 2K. 2.2K for some rare golds is definitely cheaper. They were 2.6 to 2.7 thousand coins. And that was actually a point for people on the market. They were buying these preview pack um, lightning rounds and preview packs and making coins off of them because so many people are doing the 81 plus player picks and the 87 times 10 because of those upgrade SBCs that were released yesterday and the 87 times 10 just being such a fun SBC to do, getting so many players inside of that pack. So this week in total, again, the big focus is this 87 times 10, the footies player pick, the 81 plus player pick, which again, I'm not touching these player picks. I know EA thinks that we love these player picks in this game. And I know there's a lot of people that are spending the coins to do this upgrade pack, but in all honesty, what I would do, be doing is buying non-rares, doing gold upgrade packs, and then putting those cards you get into this 87 plus times 10 because gold upgrades are giving out. And this SBC is just kind of where it's at. Like the, the amount you spend on this, you get a lot more back and a lot more potential for higher rated cards and higher rated SBC fodder than if you were to do an 81 plus player pick on repeat. So Everybody's just used to doing the 81 plus player pick and that's what's been overpowered this year. I think that's why EA keeps re-releasing it as well because one of the things we're going to remember about FIFA 21 when this is all said and over is this 81 plus player pick was something that, you know, wasn't super duper popular last year in FIFA 20, but this year these player picks have taken off and they've been way more popular than packs and that's going to continue into FIFA 22 as well. Just that idea that the player picks give you the options. People are going to like those. And when we see player pick SBCs come out, like icon upgrades, whenever this is during on the year, we're going to have to know there's going to be more demand for that stuff heading into 22 based off of what happened last year. So that's just kind of a FIFA 22 tip to keep in mind. Uh, you know, yesterday on Sunday was kind of a quiet day. We had the Vieira SBC as well. It's coming in at about 2.2 million coins. Sorry, 1.2 million coins. I'm way off. Vieira himself was about 2.2 to 2.3. He is now down to 1.8. 
Earlier, I was saying that this SBC was not that great a value, but I'm going to be completely honest. If you waited this long for Vieira and you wanted to do his SBC, you didn't want to buy him off the market, you can probably get this done for a pretty reasonable price. I mean, if it's coming in at 1.3 mil on the market, and I know that I crafted Cruyff for like 500,000 coins and I didn't even craft that hard. I could have spent more of a time grind and done it for even less coins. Like I really think you're going to be able to do this Viera for like 650k, 700k or less if you started from scratch just doing gold upgrades and buying the non-rares. I do believe with the 87 plus times 10 that is out, it's not that hard of a craft if it's a card that you really really want for your team. So again, it still feels like a lot of these icon SBCs are just they're just too late, right? Because it's just so late in the game cycle. So many other cards are just so cheap. I mean, you take a look at Acuna. You're gonna you're gonna pair up Vieira and Acuna here and tell me that this card has is 1.8 million coins and a 1.3 mil SBC, but this guy is 300 k and is literally the best five star five star midfielder in the game. Like, how are you gonna make that comparison? I understand it's the icons. I understand that it is that. I guess the like the attachment factor and the memories and the nostalgia of that player and, and playing no longer playing but having those memories of him playing right it makes sense but still at the same time for like fifa meta purposes it just icons are they're just i hate to say behind the curve because icons are always special in fifa especially when we get to like the moment stage where we are now it just seems that it's like a, a, a little bit too late for some of these cards so that's kind of how i feel about that at the moment but if you're a huge fan of viera and you want to get that crafted you're definitely able to get viera at a discount right now on the market so again let's talk a little bit more about monday today and the first few days of this week and what i expected to be now i'll always week one seems to be just a little bit more hype than week two i've got squad battle rewards to claim but i've got cards mine assigned so i'm not going to do that but i wanted to show you this home screen which i can't because it's blocked uh, but week one's always a little bit better than week two with the upgrade packs and with the SBCs that we see. The number one SBC guy that we need to see this week, we all been talking about it. We This is our last chance. It really feels like this is our last chance because I know, I feel like even maybe today on Monday, we're going to get a new one of those player votes. And I think this might be the beginning of our second chance votes. They might give us a player pick today where they pick two, three, four, maybe even five cards in a player pick and say, hey, whoever wins the vote out of this is going to be the second chance SBC and have a second opportunity to win a footies card. I could see that for the votes this week um, if they didn't do anything that was like League One specific. Um, but what I also could see is some of our last footies favorites cards coming out as um, objectives or SBCs that are League One related. Uh, we had a, a footies favorites, of course, that with the Diata card that was from March. We're getting very close to April, which is when that foot birthday Renato Sanchez was released. A lot of people think Renato Sanchez would be an objective. And if it was to be an objective, two days, 14 hours left on Tonali. A nice replacement here would be a Renato Sanchez. So we'll see if they do it. We'll see if that happens. Um, but this is like the week that Renato Sanchez could be re-released. And again, I wanted to mention that second chance stuff for guys like Sissoko, who we thought should have gotten a card. Um, the Martial, of course, is probably going to be in that second chance vote. And think of guys like David Silva, Manolas, who have been in votes that have lost. So just keep your eyes out for some of those. I think those are going to somehow weave their way into the content in this week and next week, or I'd expect it to be, um, because that is something that, um, was told to us was going to be happening because up as a part of this footies promo and with the footies vote. Now, the next thing I want to talk about really quick is these engagement rewards. We were supposed to get engagement rewards on Friday. I was 100% right about that. We got them the Friday after this July 25th deadline and we didn't get them. So I don't know what's going on here with EA. They haven't said anything about it as far as I'm concerned, but um, we would like to have them. You know, a free 125k pack when rares are all 2,000 coins plus a pop. I mean, that's a great opportunity to have some free fodder, I guess, for just playing this game and be able to go do SBC. So EA, that'd be incredible if you would drop those out soon and give us some info on those. But again, today on Monday, League One player pick is what we're expecting. Maybe a player SBC and probably another vote would be what I would uh, expect. Of course, a new round of preview packs as well. And we'll see how that we'll see you how much that SBC for a League One player pick costs because it's got to be kind of cheap, just like Serie A was. Because again, you have Neymar, you have Mbappe, 
and you have a couple other top tier cards, but then after that, it's just a lot of, mm, just a lot of whatever and just okay. So we'll have to see what that is. We'll be streaming, of course, live on twitch.tv backslash forward slash the foot account. I get my slashes mixed up, but that link is down in the description. I'll be live streaming on our content. We'll be taking a look at what content they do release and then heading throughout into the week. It's probably going to be a really normal week. They keep copying and pasting this content. If I'm being completely honest, the 81 plus player pick and the 85 to 90, which by the way, the 85 to 90 is like the worst value upgrade SBC ever. Um, to turn in an 82 rated squad for this is criminal. Just go do an 87 times 10, turn in a few more cards and get yourself 10 cards instead of one. Anyways, uh, that's my opinion on that. But we've had the 85 to 90 and the 81 plus player pick like three weeks in a row, I think on the, like for the first week of the batches. Um, so it just, you can tell that right now we are in autopilot mode on FIFA 21 and that we are getting towards the end, right? And you can also just tell with the market and with prices dropping down as much as they have. And you can also kind of tell with what cards are on the front page here on Footbin because all of these Path to Glory cards are really, I guess, overpowered and uh, popular items that people want to buy for their team. And to see these on the front page tells me people are wanting to buy these cards because they know this is going to be a low point. The Sunday night time frame is always classed as a low point. And this is people buying some cards for their teams. And I think partially that's why you're even seeing some of the League One cards go up on this market. I know there was squad battle rewards a little while ago. Uh, Firmino was 870, went down to the low 800s. It's kind of come back up a little bit, but it's really going to be interesting this week to see how all out EA goes with this League One content. If they do release a Renato, who they do release in the votes, like if they were to put in, um, you know, some of those second chance players for the votes already today on Monday, or if they're going to go with a League One specific vote or a five star, five star League One, we'll have to see what they do with that. But that's kind of what's going on in the game at this moment now one thing i will say is again based on that syria player pick which i'm going to take a look at this from last week because it's still live i want to find this syria player pick and look at the requirements because i believe it was just one squad fifty thousand coins i think it was an 83 rated squad and that was it maybe a tots card yeah tots card or inform 83 rated 70 chemistry i expect that league one player pick today to be right around that same rating maybe an 84 but it's going to be a big gamble. It's going to be a big gamble unless you get that Neymar, unless you get that Mbappe, um, and maybe even the Verratti or kind of your top three players to get from that SBC. So that's the content coming this week, at least for the first part of this week. We'll continue to talk about it as we head on throughout this game. My coin total is going to be dwindling this week, all right? You can bet on that because this is full send time, right? This is full send time, last chance at these big cards. I'm going to craft Martins. I'm probably going to craft one or two of these other SBCs while doing the 87 times 10 just because I want to have some fun, right? I want to use these coins and obviously have one last chance at packing a 99 rated Ronaldo Messi or Neymar in FIFA. I've never packed a 99 rated card, so I'm going for it, right? We're going to go for it and see if we can hit big this week. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.